Very often the same words are used in mathematics and in ordinary language. Words like group, set, field, ring, imaginary, complex. But often the words mean something rather different in mathematics. For one thing the terms are very specifically very well defined and they can mean something that's almost opposite to their ordinary meaning. And a good example of this is the word irrational. If we talk about a person who's irrational or behaving irrationally, we mean illogical, doesn't make sense. But in mathematics, irrational refers to an irrational number. And that doesn't mean an illogical number. An irrational number is a number with very, very specific properties, some of which are very interesting indeed. And that's the topic of today's video, irrational numbers. An irrational number is a real number that can't be written as one whole number divided by another. In other words, it's a real number that isn't a rational number. The decimal expansion of an irrational number doesn't terminate or repeat itself although in some cases it may have a pattern, such as 0 0.101, 0001, 0001, 0001, and so on. The vast majority of real numbers are irrational, so that if you were to pick a single point on the real number line at random, the chances are overwhelmingly high that it would be irrational. Put another way, Whereas the set of all rationals is countable, the irrationals form an uncountable set and therefore represent a larger kind of infinity. An uncountable set is one that can't be put in one-to-one -one correspondence with the set of natural numbers. The Harvard logician Willard van Orman Quine put it this way, the irrationals exist in such variety that no notation whatever is capable of providing a separate name for each of them. There are two types of irrational number. Algebraic numbers such as the square root of 2, which are the roots of algebraic equations, and transcendental numbers such as pi and e, which aren't. In some cases it isn't known if a number is irrational or not. Undecided cases include 2 to the power e, pi times e, pi plus e, and the Euler-Mascheroni constant, gamma. An irrational number raised to a rational power can be rational. For instance, root 2 to the power 2 is 2. Also, an irrational number raised to an irrational power can be rational. What kind of number is root 2 to the root 2? The answer is irrational. This follows from the so-called Gelfond-Schneider theorem, which says that if a and b are roots of polynomials, and a isn't 0 or 1 and b is irrational, then a to the b must be irrational, and in fact it will also be transcendental. Check out other videos on this channel for more about other types of numbers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.